So do you like peanut butter? Do you like jelly? Well, let me introduce you to Genshin's version of peanut butter and Genshin's version of jelly. So if you guys are looking for a new team to utilize your Farina with, you can do this one. I guarantee it. It's also one of the most flexible teams of all time. Farina's gonna be draining the HP of everyone in your party with her own elemental skill, her Oisa form, doing damage, applying hydro while off the field. Not only is she gonna be draining health this way, but because she's draining health, she's also gonna be building up fanfare stacks from her elemental burst, giving bonus damage to everyone in your party, including herself. We're also gonna get bonus healing from this fanfare stack conversion as well. So if a character that's draining HP from your party, doing damage off field, and also, well, boosting up your party's effectiveness overall. We're gonna have Noelle as our on-field driver, healer, damage dealer, shielder, whatever it is you want to do, this maid's gonna do it. Healing from breastplate, also having the cooldown reduction, from nice and clean as she's gonna be your on-field driver, also gonna be able to do a decent amount of damage with sweeping time as the activation skill, and it's gonna have a 15 second duration, 15 second cooldown, 60 energy cost. Does that sound familiar to anyone here? These two characters pair well together because they kind of counter the downsides of each other. And there's one thing that you can do with Noel to really utilize and buff up your Farina and other party members energy recharge as well. And you don't need a crazy five star weapon. No, you just need this thing. You need the Favonius Greatsword. If it's R1, fine. If it's R5, fantastic the stuff you're seeing in the background is with a very low costed team we're talking very minimal gear we have a level 50 favonius greatsword in our farina in the showcase you're watching right now is actually only level 16 her talent levels are uh two and three we don't even have her second ascension yet of unheard confession which is going to buff up her damage even more so if nothing else take this as a proof of concept because this is indeed the characters i've used to go ahead and <laughs> fully max out 36 star the abyss this reset the farina gear isn't anything super crazy either we're gonna be using her on the four piece golden troop set which you've seen in probably every farina guide out there including my own if you haven't watched it yet though go check it out it's pretty cool and my artifact quality isn't the worst thing ever it's pretty good on the flower with 30 crit damage three crit rate we're using an off set feather for some reason just some big crit damage there but the rest of them are just okay this sands hp percent main sands crit rate substat is basically the only thing there we're also using an hp percent goblet with some crit rate and then a crit damage circlet with a tiny bit of crit chance there. We're also gonna be using the Festering Desire. If you don't have access to it, you can use the pipe. You can go ahead and use Favonius if you want. Maybe you can even throw in the signature weapon because you're gonna be having access to so much energy gain from the Favonius Great Sword. As far as the artifact setup on this Noel, you don't need anything super crazy. However, there's gonna be two different things you can see comparison sidewise. One of them is gonna be Four Piece Hunter. The other one's gonna be my really well-rolled Opulent Dream set. Both of them are usable with this setup. However, if you're brand new to building Noel, you're brand new with this Farina team setup, you wanna use this Favonius build, go ahead and utilize the Marchus Hunter set. It's gonna save you resin because it comes from the same domain as the Golden Troop set. You're gonna be farming up for your Farina. If you have already farmed those up, you might have some four piece defense hunter sets laying around that you just haven't decided to level yet. It's very, very, very good. And I'll tell you why, even if you're using a lower leveled, lower refinement Favonius Greatsword, you're gonna wanna have crits on your Noel so you can proc these extra particles. Well, guess what? You're gonna be able to get 36% crit rate for free from the Marchus Hunter set. And this is a big boon to not only just the damage your Noel is gonna be able to deal consistency wise as your on-field driver, but it's also going to allow you to gain as many particles as possible from your Favonius Graceward procs. And so I hear you, who should I use for friends for this team? Who are the other two characters? That's the best thing about this duo and why they're peanut butter and jelly. They already make the whole sandwich. You can put more stuff in it if you want. If you want to go in with more Hydro, one of my personal favorite ones is Yelon. She's a Hydro character, so you get Hydro Resonance. She has the ability of Depth Curry and Dice for some nice off-field damage, which is going to get boosted up by Farina's fanfare stacks as well. We love to see it. She's pretty good at generating particles as well with Lingering Lifeline. If you have C1, she's even better at generating particles. So you can lower the ER on your Farina even more. If you pulled her signature weapon and you don't have Festering Desire, you really want to utilize it. This is something that's very, very good for you because you typically need a ton of energy recharge. Well, guess what? You can have a Favonius Noel. You could put in a Favonius Warbo Yelon as well. If you don't have access to Yelon, well, I got a very 
pleasant surprise for you. If you're looking for another hydro character off field, then go ahead and look at Xing Cho. He's very reminiscent of Yelan. You just can't run super fast, especially if Sacrificial Sword on him. This is another way for you to generate particles, dump them into your Farina. If need be, you're running a very low ER build. You're trying to make your build work. That's gonna be able to help you out there as well. It also is gonna give you a little additional healing with Guha Sword Rain Cutter and Fatal Rain Screen from his own bonus of Hydropathic, his Ascension. It's mwah, so good. You also get damage reduction, so the shield from your Noel lasts even longer in case you take a big hit. You really want that shield to last with this build from Breastplate, because if Breastplate's not up, you can't heal. Damage reduction plus shield is Chef's Kiss good. <laughs> Nice. If you're running double hydro, then an animal character actually is pretty amazing. You can run Kaza with Viridus and Venera set for that 40% water elemental shred. We love it. It also is gonna give you bonus damage on top of that, which yeah, I know there's diminishing returns, but uh, we don't really need elemental mastery from Sucrose. So Kaza is actually pretty good here. One of my personal favorites though, is actually Hyzel Punchman in the Viridus and Venera setup, because while well, he can be a quick swap type character, you don't need to have an elemental skill ready whenever you want to swirl, you just come in, he's Catalyst, hit something with his charge attack, swirl the Hydro, punch something, use your elemental burst if you want to, and get out. You're also gonna have a lot of bonus damage with the Yelons, the Depth with Ease, as well as the Fanfare stacks from your Farina. And this in a supportive aspect, supportive role, this Kazuha right here with not even 2K attack can punch things for like 100K, which is pretty decent for a quick swap character who's just kind of there as a debuffer with the VV set. Electro characters are also fantastic. Yai Miko's off field damage will still get buffed up from Farina. And then once you have her on field and you're popping her elemental burst, if Yelan's there, that's gonna bump her up temporarily with the deck with ease. And it's nice to get that big bonus damage on that elemental burst because, you know, you're taking the field, you wanna do as much damage as possible. But probably my favorite electro character to run in this party is Fischl. And we've already seen how awesome fireworks teams and electro charge teams can be with Fischl due to Undone Be Thy Sinful Hex. And generally, while Geo's not that great at elemental reactions or anything of that sort, Crystallize is pretty bad. But if you have electro charged on the enemy and you hit them with a Geo attack, guess what? That is still an electro related elemental reaction and it will proc this as well. And that's a big deal because we wanna keep our Noel on field as much as possible, shielding and healing to keep up the HP that our Farina is draining. I've even had some success using a Raiden Shogun, a Farina, Noel, and Nahida team doing, yes, some weird hyper bloom, crystallization, fanfare stacks, extraordinaire, massive AoE damage, doing all of the stuff in Genshin Impact the team. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this very solid core of Farina as well as Noel. And honestly, it feels extremely powerful, even with my Farina at time of this recording, only being level 60 and talent level two and talent level three. She's supposed to be doing a considerable, much more damage than what you're seeing here. And we're already 36 started the abyss with this sort of basic team. And I think the fact that the Farina that you see in this video is only level 60 is a testament to just how strong this core can be because, well, I'm supposed to be doing a lot more off field damage as well as boosting up the damage of my party with my fanfare stacks. I can get this to talent level 10 and this will be much better than it is now, especially because like I said at the start of the video, I don't even have her second ascension yet. Like I'm at 2% power and we 36 started the abyss with this. It's kind of insane.
But if you're looking for some fun and super flexible ways to utilize Farina, go out there, level your Noel a little bit, throw some Marchus Hunter set on here, dust off that Favonius greatsword you might have never used in your life. I know I haven't. And let me know what you think about this down below.